Here's how you can load any website in WordPress by simply copying and pasting the URL into an input box. WordPress is probably the most popular and advanced CMS out there. Everyone from developers to business owners use it to build their websites because it is so reliable. I've been working with it for a while now and one issue I've always had with it is that WordPress themes can be super expensive. But what if there was a way to clone any website in WordPress for free by just copying and pasting the URL? Cloning a website is not easy, especially in WordPress, but I finally found the perfect tool to allow you to do this. In this video, I'll show you how you can use it to clone any website in WordPress. Let's get started. Before we begin, please like the video and subscribe to help me blow up my channel. Thank you. The first thing you'll need to do is find a beautiful website to clone. This method works with any website on the internet, but for this tutorial, I'll be using this website here because it is absolutely gorgeous. It is minimalistic and has all the features and pages you'd need to build a website for a small local business. Once you have a website to clone, go to Google and search for CloneWebX WordPress and open the first result. This will take you to softlife.io slash clonewebx. This tool is probably the best website cloning tool for WordPress. It supports all the major WordPress page builders including Bricks, Elementor, Webflow, Breakdance and Gutenberg. To use it, click on Go app, then sign up and fill in your details here to create an account. Once your account is created, log in and you'll see this clean interface here. From here, you are going to need to click on add new project. You are going to need to give your project a name and then copy the URL of the website you want to clone into this input field here. Then click on create project. Once you get to this page here, you are going to need to click on here to install the Chrome extension. In the Chrome Web Store, you are going to click this button here to install the CloneWebX extension. Once the extension is in installed, you are going to click on this button here to close this tab. From here, you are going to go to the website in which you want to clone and you are going to scroll down to the bottom so that all the images load. Once the entire page is loaded, what you will need to do is click on the extension button here and then open this extension. In here, you will select your project and then click on edit page. This will begin the cloning process. Once the cloning process is complete, you will be presented with this interface here. Basically, this is your cloned page and you can copy each element individually or you can export the entire page by switching the export type here to entire page. From there, you are going to need to select the builder you want to use. If you are using Webflow, you can select this one here, but I'll be using Elementor in WordPress, so I'll leave this one here. The next thing you'll need to do is click on this link here to download the Softlife plugin for WordPress. Once it is downloaded, you are going to need to go to your WordPress and log in using your details. Once you are in WordPress, you are going to go to the plugins tab. In here, you are going to click on add new plugin to install the plugins. The first plugin we'll need to install is the Softlife plugin. So click on upload plugin here and then navigate to the file we downloaded and drag it into this field here and then click on install now. Once it is installed, activate it. Next, we are going to install Elementor. So click on add plugin again and search for Elementor. And then we're going to install Elementor here by clicking on install now. This will take a while. So please make sure you like the video while this one is still installing. Once it is installed, activate it. And we now have all the extension required. So go to pages and click on add new page. Cancel this one and then click on Edit page with Elementor to open the page in Elementor. Once it is opened, you are going to need to go to settings here and then change the name of our element to home page because we'll be going to be copying the home page. And the last thing we'll do here is modify the page layout to canvas here. From there, you are going to need to go back to this tab here and click on export. This will start exporting our entire page here. Once it is done exporting, 
it will automatically copy the page into our clipboard so we simply go back to our wordpress here and right click here and click on paste from another site and then click on Control v and this will begin loading our page once it is done you will see that we have our page here you can modify it if you want but you can see this is our page to preview it you can click on this button here and this will launch our web page here as a preview and as you can see the entire page is copied into wordpress here the resulting website is fully responsive so you can view it in any device regardless of screen size here's what it would look like in a mobile device we can go back to this tab here and modify our nav bar, modify our logo, modify our pictures and to publish it you simply click on publish here. Once it is published you are going to need to click on this button here and then exit to wordpress and then click on back. In wordpress you are going to need to go to settings and then reading and then change your home page to aesthetic page and select the page you created as our home page and click on save. This will make sure that the page you copied here is our home page. So if I go to my website URL here and click on enter, you'll see that our home page is this one here. One thing you'll notice is that our pages here don't exist yet because we haven't copied these. So if you want to copy the rest of the website, you simply go back to the website and repeat the process until you have all the pages you need from the website. This can allow you to go to another page in another website and clone that into your website as well. One thing I forgot to mention is that they do have a free tier here. So please use this to get a feel of how the tool works before signing up for the pro version. If you do decide to sign up for CloneWebX, please use my link in the description down below. With that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.